What is going on, guys? Wonder Man Boxing. Breaking news. According to Michael Benson, he says that Canelo Alvarez's next fight is going to be Jermall Charlo for Undisputed at 168 pounds. What do you guys think about that? I personally think it's a hell of a fight. Look, we know that the first thing that comes to mind is uh, what happened to the David Benavides fight, right? David Benavides had an option B to fight David Morrell. That contract was already in place even when the Caleb Plant fight happened for David Benavides to fight Morrell as an option B, meaning that they were aiming and throwing an offer to Canelo Alvarez and for him to respond within the week to make that fight with David Benavides. But anyways, this is one of the reasons why I actually like the Canelo Alvarez versus Jamal Charlo fight. This fight is nothing new. This fight is a fight that a lot of the boxing fans have been waiting for, for it to happen. This fight has been brewing since 2019 when supposedly there was an offer on the table and uh, Charlo and Charlo's team rejected it. And then he said that he never got the offer from Canelo Alvarez. So who knows what exactly happened? We're not there, you know, behind the scenes and stuff like that. But there was an offer on the table back in 2019. Never happened that fight. Now the fight is happening. And I know 100% that one of the things that people are going to say is, well, he's fighting Jamal Charlo because he's been inactive for two years. He hasn't fought since 2021. Yes, he hasn't fought since 2021. Jamal Charlo, you know, once a fighter, you're always a fighter. Jamal Charlo is a very athletic dude. He's bigger than Canelo. Even though he fights at 160 pounds, he's bigger than Canelo. He's very athletic. He has a big frame. You know, the only thing is that he would just need to rust that out because he's been out for two years. But at the same time, the same people that are going to say that Jamal Charlo, you know, Canelo's picking him because he's inactive or he's facing mental problems. I personally think that every fighter in boxing faces mental problems. Everybody's facing something. Even myself, everybody. Everybody's dealing with something. You see what I'm saying? But what I'm trying to say here is, is that, let me give you an example. Errol Spence Jr., he had a car accident, and when he came back, who did he fight? Danny Garcia. That was his tune up fight, Danny Garcia. And Danny Garcia is a dangerous man, he's a dangerous fighter. And Errol Spence Jr. made it happen and he defeated him. So props to him. That's what I'm trying to say, guys. He could have gone any other route. Canelo Alvarez, I remember he had a deal, a package, to fight Benavides and Charlo at the PBC. If I was him, I would negotiate something like that for like over $100 million to fight Jamal Charlo and David Benavides for Cinco de Mayo 2024. See what I'm saying? But we'll see what happens. Look, like I said, Jamal Charles is a very athletic dude. And what I'm trying to say is that those same people that are going to say that, you know, he's been inactive and that's why Canelo is taking him. Well, th those are the same people that are saying that Canelo Alvarez is on the decline. So it shouldn't be a problem if... Canelo Alvarez is on the decline, right? Canelo Alvarez supposedly is on the decline because he couldn't knock out John Ryder. I personally thought that Canelo Alvarez dominated in fashion John Ryder. If that fight was in the United States, that fight would have been stopped. He got dropped twice. He lost every, one, every round except for the 12th round. I think Canelo Alvarez just like let go of the gas in the 12th round and John Ryder I, I gave him that round but other than that it was a complete domination that's why I personally don't see Canelo Alvarez in the decline but say he is on the decline does Jamal Charlo actually stand a chance against Canelo absolutely 
He's a world champion. He's in his prime. He's undefeated. He's bigger than Canelo. He's strong. He's a strong dude. And I think this is a hell of a fight. I think this is a fight for Canelo Alvarez to face David Benavides since this fight is with the PBC. Jamal Charles is with the PBC. This will open the doors for him to fight David Benavides for um, Cinco de Mayo uh, 2024. So if I was Canelo, I would sign a two-fight package deal of over $100 million or something like that to fight both of these guys. Jamal Charles in September and David Benavides for Cinco de Mayo. If David Benavides passes through Dave Morrell Jr. But with that being said, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. I'm actually pretty stoked about this fight. Let me know your thoughts. I'm out.